What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Brent and today I will be going over the number one portrait lighting setup if you have a short shoot and you just want to get right into your bag. I am joined today with the world renowned artist, Kylia. We want to get right into the content for you guys so let's hop right into the first setup. So the first thing that I'm going to do in this lighting setup is get our key light set. And our key light is going to be the Godox 8600 BM and we have a 31 inch octabox that is gridded in the Rembrandt position for Kylia on the left side of her face. I'm now going to take a test shot to show you what this first light is doing. Our camera settings are as follows. ISO is going to be at 100. Our shutter speed is at 1 2 50th and our f-stop is at f8. So Kylia, you're going to look straight at me. Three, two. And what you're going to notice with this first shot is a lot of dramatics on the right side of Kylia's face. The Rembrandt position gives us a nice little highlight on the right side of her nose, but this is a very dramatic setup. It's only one light, it is gridded, so our background is gonna be a little bit dark. As you can see, the white is gonna fall to gray. But now what I'm gonna do is take five snaps of Kylia so you can see how movement is affected by this lighting pattern. So five different shots. You're gonna give me something dramatically different each time. Okay, so just so we can show them what the light is doing. So here we go. Three, two, nice. Three, two. Let me get some looking this way. Three, two. Other way. Three, two. Last one. Three, two. Nice. So with this lighting setup, you're gonna notice that as Kylia turns into the light, we reduce that shadow that's on her right side. But as she turns away, we can make it a little bit more dramatic. Now let's start to add in light number two. So the second light that we are gonna set up in this ultimate portrait lighting setup is our hair slash rim light. And all I'm doing here is I have a 21 inch Octabox on a MS300. This will also be gridded. And what I'm trying to do is line up that hotspot right about the back right side of Kylie's head just to give her a rim slash edge. And what this light is gonna do is provide a little more separation from our background. So let me go ahead and take a test shot so you all can see the effects that this light is having on our setup. Kylia, first shot, you're gonna be looking straight at me. Three, two. Perfect. And as you notice, as soon as we added that hair slash rim light in, we brought up some of the highlights on her face, but we also kind of brought some separation away from that background. So now what I'm gonna do is have Kylia pose for five different clicks so that you can see the variations that we can get with this second lighting setup. So each click, Kylie, you're gonna do something a little bit different. Let's not start with eyes to me this time. Yeah, three, two, three, two, nice. Three, two, three, two. Let's do one more, three, two. Perfect, that's awesome. So now we're starting to add a little more depth and dimension to our photos. Notice how when she went to profile, you were still able to get a nice rim on her face from that backlight that we set up. And that's just the beauty of how this lighting setup works. With the cross lighting, we're also able to get like a small vignette around our subject, which makes her pop a little bit more. But now we're gonna add in that third piece to our ultimate lighting setup. So the last and final light that we are going to add to our setup is actually gonna be a huge white umbrella. And this is gonna be a seven foot umbrella. And I like to back it up and have it right in front of my model. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna allow me to fill in pretty much all of her shadows and turn this into a high key image where posing is not limited. And it's also going to illuminate my background. So let me go ahead and get a test shot just so you can see exactly what this lighting is doing. Kylia, yep, first one, you're looking straight at me. Three, two. Awesome. And now we have fully illuminated Kylia and made this a high key image. My settings have not changed. We are still at ISO 100. We are still at an aperture of F8 and we are still at a shutter speed of 1 to 50th. Now I'm gonna get five clicks from Kylia as we've done before, just so you can see what this lighting setup does and what effect it has on her posing. So we'll get a little dramatic with the posing. Yep, and you can pretty much do anything here. So three, two, three, two, three, two. 
You get two more, three, two, and one more for good measure. Three, two. So what you're gonna notice as we've now added in our big fill light is this becomes a high key image. So she can go wherever she wants. And when you have those clients where maybe you're on a crunch time, you have like an hour where you can shoot. The three lights is where I would start first. Having all three lights set up and you get the nice high key images, you're able to you know, let your client move and groove. They don't really have to choose a side that's their favorite. They can pose how they want to. And then what we will start to do is take away some of these lights. So for instance, you take a few photos of your client here with the high key. So Kylie, okay, just give me two poses here. Three, two, one more, three, two. And without you having to move a light, without you having to put a backdrop up or take a backdrop down, what we'll do now is on our trigger, we will turn off our fill light. Fill light gets turned off. Three, two, three, two. We've instantly made our portraits more dramatic. How does this help? Because when you get to the choosing stage of your clients, when they need to choose the edits that they're going to have edited, you have now provided them with more variety without ever even having to move your lights. But let's take it a step further. Let's turn on our fill light. Let's turn off our key and let's just see what we get. Let's, let's see what the rim light plus the fill kind of gives us. Three, two, one more, three, two. And now what you're gonna get is kind of a more backlit, silhouette type of deal where it is a little bit odd, but this is something that you're going to want to play with. You can play with these three lighting ratios however you want to. You could make your backlight a little higher than your fill. You could make your fill light higher if the bright images is something that you're more impartial to. All that we are trying to do is make sure that when you have that quick session, you have three lights set up and you can turn them on and off as you please based on how your client is dressed, how the model is changing in between outfits and what exactly you would like to focus on. This is the ultimate lighting setup, three different lights, key, fill, hair light, and how you can go and funnel between the three to get the looks that you want. All right, you all, so that's the quick and dirty on the number one portrait lighting setup for when you have those quick sessions. The biggest thing that I want you to take away from this is this allows you to set your subject, you set your lights, you set your camera settings, and then if you need her or him to change multiple outfits and you wanna to try to change and get different looks, make it dramatic, make it high key, you can do so without the stress of having to move your lights around. And this is a very cool way to get in tune with your light ratios, with your metering, and with your trigger. Kylia, thank you so much for coming through. What was your favorite lighting setup of the three? I think I like the second one. Why, why do you like the second one? Because I think it gives a good balance of the shadows and the highlights, the lighting, you know? I feel like the first one was too dramatic, a little dark, and the third one with the three lights, it was like too bright. So I feel like the second one is worse. Okay, and where can the people find you? You can find me on Instagram, check the number four, Kylea. You can find me on YouTube and all music outlets. Yeah, see, I think that was probably the best described Instagram, <laughs> right? You guys might be able to spell that correctly, but you know I'm gonna put it right here just in case. Yes. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Comment down below which of the three lighting setups do you think would be most useful in your work and with your clientele. We will catch you guys in the next video.